Hello, Bible readers. It is Monday, May 10th. We're reading Jeremiah 49 and 50, Ephesians chapter 5. Jeremiah, we've got um, judgments against Ammon and Edom, Damascus, Kadar, Hazor, Elam. Uh, the main note that I would offer, because I basically talked to all of these um, proclamations against these places yeah, yesterday, I was going to say, but Friday, um, amidst all the judgment, is almost understated, really. For Elam, um, it ends, I'll destroy their king and officials, but in the latter days, I'll restore the fortunes of Elam, says the Lord. There's always this, this um, sign of restoration, even in the wake of, of judgment to a foreign land. Ephesians chapter 5. What does it mean to live in the light of Christ? Imitating God is what Ephesians is trying to get at, and that imitation looks like sacrifice. And so in my commentary, there's a big, long uh, description of what, what sacrifice meant then, what it means now, how hard it is for us to really wrap our, our hearts, minds, and souls around the kind of sacrifice that would lead to a cross, um, that being the best example of the kind of sacrifice uh, that Ephesians is talking about. And then there's a list of vices, uh, very similar to a list in Colossians. Um, a similar thing happens at verse 15, where there's a similar section to what we read in Colossians. Walk in wisdom, for the times are evil. Speak to one another in psalms and songs, like the exact same things are said in Colossians too. Sing with your hearts, give thanks to God. It's a formula that the early church must have used to encourage each other, and so it shows up in multiple places. And then um, we've got a, a line, be subject to each other. What a community-building exhortation that, that puts the self uh, at the mercy of the community. Um, you know, be subject to one another. It's something the church still celebrates. Then there's this household code. Wives, be subject to your husbands. Husbands, Love your wives as Christ loved the church. Um, again, Colossians says a similar thing to this household code uh, with similar words. And what's interesting about this, and it happened to me again, I remember, I remember going through this in seminary too. When we read, be subject to one another, which I just lifted up a few seconds ago, we celebrate that as this mutual, I put myself at the mercy of my neighbor. But when we read, wives be subject to your husbands, that does not get celebrated without um, lots of criticism. We could do a word study on what is meant here with subject yourself. Um, if we were not just Bible reading and got into Bible study, I would definitely want to, to dig into to what does that mean? And what does it mean for husbands to, you know, love your wife as Christ loved the church? Obviously, all the way to death is where that's going. Um, but, you know, what is, what is the gist of, of what being subject to each other and within a marriage? What, what is that really, what's meant by that? I think that would be worth our time. Maybe someday we'll do that. I am one with my God. My God is with us, all of us at all times and in all places.